In this video, we're going to use the entire 10-bit response from the ADC. To get the 8-bit response, we were only using the ADC8, which is the unlocked digital conversion high. And we were also using the ADLAR equaling 1, which is um, left adjusted. And the ADCH looked like this when it was left adjusted. I put in the ninth bit here, the eighth, seventh, sixth, fifth, fourth, third, and second. And in the the low, this was AD, this is ADCH. And in the low, we put in the last two digits, which is the one and zero. And this is the ADCL. To understand this in a bit greater, in a bit of greater detail, the ADCL, these two numbers here are like portions of each of these numbers. Two binary digits will give us these numbers. We have zero, one, two, and three. So we have four different positions or, or different numbers. And we know that an eight bit number, which is the two through nine, which was the eight bit number we were receiving um, from zero to 255, we know that the eight bit number will give us only 256 possibilities. And if you multiply it by four, which is like the, uh, this would be the sub numbers of each one of these, you'd get 256 times four is equal to 1024, which is a 10 bit number. Now let's take a look at the right adjusted ADCH and ADCL. This is with the ADLAR R equals to zero, equaling zero. So if ADLAR or left um, adjustment is equal to zero, which is which means it's adjusted to the right, the tenth position, which is nine, is on the H, A, um, ADCH, the eighth position, and then seven starts here, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Now what we're going to have to do is create a 16-bit number so we can put this 10-bit number into that 16-bit number. We'll create a new variable, a 16-bit variable. So let's draw the 10-bit number, actually the 16-bit number, and we're going to call the 16-bit number 10-bit value. And it's going to be the type uint16 underscore t. And what this is is a data type that has uh, 16 bits. It's a, um, it's a unit, it's a integer data type that has 16 um, bits of width. So let's go ahead and draw the entire width of that number. So let's try to get 16 partitions here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and one more. 16. Okay, so this has 16 positions in a 16 bit number. There's, um, you can put a 1 or a 0 in each of these. So we have the, the, the possibility of putting this 10 bit number. Um, from either either one actually we can do it from the if, if it's right adju right adjusted or left adjusted and we're going to use bitwise operators to do this but we'll have to look at each one together so in either option the ADCH is going to come first we just have to figure out how to do the bitwise operation let's look at the this one first to see how we would make this one go into a 16-bit number and give us a 10-bit result we need those numbers in the 16-bit binary number in this fashion. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And we won't be using these digits. These will just be zeros. We can see that the portion that the ADCH resides is in this location of the 16-bit number. So we can already see that it's shifted to the left two spaces. So our 10-bit value first will equal ADCH, and we're gonna shift it to the left two spaces. And that's all we need to do for the ADCH. Then we're gonna OR the ADCL. This is the ADCL right here, and it's already shifted 
to the left. How many spaces? One, two, three, four, five, six spaces. So all we need to do is say A, D, C, L, and then shift it to the right, six spaces. Okay, so now we can do this to the, if we have the A, D, L, A, R equal to zero, we can, it's actually a little bit easier to do this because all we're gonna do is this nine and eight are in this position here. And we're gonna shift it this many times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're gonna shift the nine, eight, eight spaces to the left. So we do this, 10 bit value is equal to the A, D, C, H, and we're gonna shift it to the left eight places. And then the A, D, C, L remains right there. It doesn't get shifted at all because it's already shifted to the right and it's already gonna be from the beginning to, to from the beginning of this number to this position here. So we're, we're okay with that. The only problem that we have now is that we need to access ADCL first in either one of these. So we really need to create another variable that contains ADCL. So we'll, we'll call that, um, we'll, we'll put it up here. U, I, N, T, and this is only an 8-bit value, so we only need to do U, I, N, T, 8, or we can even do the, the car, the C-H-A-R, if we wanted to. And we're going to call it the low. And the low is just going to equal A, D, C, L. And then if we were, if we were going to do the top one, we would just, instead of putting A, D, C, L in here, we would just put the low. And if we were going to do the bottom one, we do the same thing. We just replace the ADCL with the low. And now what we're doing is we're accessing the ADCL first, and then we access the ADCH. And the compiler and the, the microcontroller will be happy. Let's go ahead and put this into a program, or modify the existing program that we have, and we'll have the numbers go all the way to 1024, which will give us four times the precision. Now that we know on paper how to receive a 10-bit number from the ADC, let's go ahead and try to make it work in the program. The first thing I want to do is we can take this car ADC result out of this vector routine, and we can actually take it outside of the, uh, we can make it a global variable instead of just re-declaring it every time we go into, a, go into a, a routine. So I'm putting it outside of all the routines to make it a global variable. And we will try the, the version of this 10-bit with the ADLAR equal to 1, uh, making sure that, that bit is, is set and making sure that it's left, um, the, it's left adjusted. That is, that is the harder method, but let's let's go ahead and do that first. We can take care of the easier method at the end. The first thing I want to do is create a an 8-bit integer, uint8, and we're going to call that the low. And this is going to be equal to the ADCL, since we need to read the AD, ADCL first before we read the ADCH. Now we're going to create the larger integer, the 16-bit integer, uint16 underscore t. I'm going to call that 10-bit, let me make it a Hungarian notation, 10-bit value. And that's going to be equal to some form of the ADCH and some form of the ADCL. So we're going to take the ADCH and we're going to shift it to the left two spaces on the, in the 16-bit integer. And we're doing it two spaces because the ADCH um, consists of the digits nine through two. So we need to make way for the, for the one and the zero. So we're gonna shift it to the left two. And then we're gonna OR the ADCL in there. And we're gonna take this, and because it is all the way to the left, it's left aligned, we need to shift it all the way back to the right. And we're gonna shift this to the sixth place, or six places. So this should give us the 10-bit value should be um, both the ADCH shifted to the left 2 and ADCL shifted to the right 6. So let's go ahead and put this 10-bit value, and we're going to replace the ADCH with the 10-bit value. I almost did something very wrong. The, the low needs to be inside of this location because I'm actually making the low equal to ADCL since we have to read that first. Then we put in the low, which is ADCL, and we're shifting that to the right 6. So that should be it. Go ahead and make and program, and you should see the potentiometer. Once you turn the potentiometer, it should go from 0 to 1023, 1024, somewhere around there. Okay, the processor has been programmed. 
So let's take a look and see what we get. We get all the way up to 1023. Going back down, 1023 is um, 1024 indexed by zero. Let's go all the way down, see if we get down to zero. We got pretty close. So let me show this to you zoomed in here. All right, so I'm gonna turn the potentiometer and it is going all the way up to 1023, going, turning the other direction. Turning it the other dire direction. And there you go. Now let's take a look at how to do it with the ADLAR off. I'm just gonna put a remark in front of this so it doesn't set this to one. And we're gonna keep the low here. We're gonna change the way this works. We don't really need to do anything to the low because it's already right justified, so we don't have to move it to the right six spaces. Um, and the ADCH has to move to the left eight spaces because the ADCH only consists of two digits, so it has to make room for all of the eight digits of the a, um, ADCL, so it's moving all the way to the left um, eight digits in the 16-bit number, which has 16 digits of binary numbers. So let's try this and see if this works. The controller has been programmed, so let's see if we get the same results. I'm turning the potentiometer. Let's see, well, we've already passed 255, so it's working. 1023. So it works as expected. So this is how to output a 10-bit number from the analog digital converter. Thank you for watching.